Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video with some detail showing how to use Pad SP, a wraparound patch with Vid XVID Cap. XVID Cap is a program that allows you to record video and audio on Ubuntu. It has some problems though that the audio doesn't work unless you use this wrapper Pad SP, and I'm going to show how that works. Uh, first of all, I, I've, I am recording right now using XVID Cap, and you can see that it's up on the screen. Right here is where I press the red button to begin the recording process. This is pause. This is stop. Green means it's running. And here you can see a counter incrementing. And this is the actual file that's being recorded. I am going to now open up some auxiliary programs for sound. One of them is Gnome Alsa Mixer and I'm going to plunk it down in the bottom of the screen there. You can see that I've got record with a check in it. Over here I'm going to uh, open up uh, a couple of programs. This is a backwards V and this is sound preferences. I'll show you how that works in a little bit and I'm going to go right, screen right. I'm using Compiz to do that. And I'm going to open up another program here. And this is volume control. And I'm going to set it down right here. And you can see that I have a, an instance of VLC running a movie and it's on pause. This says volume control, but it's actually pulse audio volume control. I'll go screen left again with compass. I'm going to show you where all of these are. As you remember, GNOME ALSA Mixer was located in Sound Video GNOME ALSA Mixer. Sound Preferences is located under System, Preferences, Sound. Pulse Audio Volume Control is located Sound and Video, Pulse Audio Volume Control. This is very confusing. I don't know why they did it that way. It seems like it is very difficult. Well, let me go back now and show you how XVidCap needs to be set up so that it will run. I'll go over one more screen, get a blank screen here. In order to get Ed XVidCap to run, you've got to go first to the Ubuntu Software Center and you will download this program that runs in the terminal. It's not a GUI program. It's command line interpreter program. And it's called PAD SP. P -A -D -S -P. And there it is and you can see with a red check mark, with a green check mark, that I already have it installed. Here it is about halfway down. It's a wrapper that wraps around DEV DSP. And DEV DSP apparently is an old version of Linux that something has superseded it. But XVidCap uses this exclusively, so you've got to use this patch. You will re, uh, download Pad SP in this manner right here from the Ubuntu Software Center. Just tell it to install it and it'll install. XVidCap, there's a different story. It is available. And I'll show you. I've got it installed but I did not install it 
from the Ubuntu Software Center. The Ubuntu Software Center has a newer version of it and the newer version apparently does not work with a patch. So instead you will need to go to the internet and download xvidcap from SourceForge and they have an old version and it works. There's a problem though. After you download an old version of a program, Linux will attempt to automatically upgrade the program. So you go to the Synaptic software, uh, the package handler here, and going to tell it not to. And the way you do that is after it's been installed, you bring up the Synaptic Package Manager and then you go to Package and you say Lock Version and it will not upgrade. Normally the way you bring up the program is to open a terminal and this is very unhandy. After your terminal comes up you have to laboriously type in pad sp space x vid cap enter. Now here is a second instance of x vid cap. Now this one is not recording. I'm going to go screen right and this is the one that's recording. You can see it's working. Please notice that the red rectangle followed me. When you run xvidcap anything inside the red rectangle is what gets recorded visually. And you can make this red rectangle any size you want. For example, here's this terminal. You can hit an eyedropper here and it will conform to the exact shape and size of any program you tell it to. Or alternately, you can hit on the screen and it will record the entire screen. Now I would like to show you some things about configuring xvidcap in preferences. You right click right here and open up preferences and these preferences allow you to let me uh, change this so that the red rectangle is not in our way. Gracious. I'm going to make this much smaller. There. Right click, Preferences. Under General, if you click this, it will capture the mouse pointer. If you click this, it will have the same capture rectangle geometry each time you open you can have the small red rectangle if it is small follow the mouse if it's not full screen. You can even hide the frame. Over here you want to make sure that multi frame is checked. Single frame is nothing I'm not going to go into that that's just taking one picture. Multi frame is video. Here is where I told it to record my file and the name of the file. I told it to go to the desktop and call it test. You don't have to mess with any of this. I reduced frames per second to 7.5 frames per second which makes for a jerky movie but as you can see it is not very bad to use when you have uh, a demonstration video like this. And I kept it at a hundred percent. When you say okay you're not done you got to go back into it, right click it again and save your preferences. 
I'm going to now uh, close the terminal and that will close xvidcap. That is very difficult to use so instead I got this backwards fish and it pops right up. That's much more convenient. Now let me go screen right and I'll show you some of the ins and outs of the various programs. Gnome Elsa Mixer, I check record. Sound, I want to start out here and show you in applications, no, in hardware, it's got duplex. Duplex means in and out. And I can have duplex, in, out, or off. Whichever one you choose here, it simultaneously, immediately changes this one to the exact same figure. Or you can change this one and it'll change the other. The inputs and outputs of this volume control, you, you can see my voice there. Output, recording, this is the XVID cap and the pad SP is the emulation they're referring to. Input, I don't have this checked. Output, I left it like that. Now I left the volume levels at 100%. You can surpass that and you get rumble. This one's off altogether, isn't it? I have not got this set up the way I want to. I want to be able to play the video, hear the video, and then talk over the video, and then regulate the sound of the video and the sound of the microphone so that one does not overshadow the other unless I want it to. In other words, I want to mix the sound. I've not been able to do that so far. I'm going to turn on the video. I have the video running in an earphone sitting down next to me here and you may be able to hear it very dimly but you can't hear it loud. Now if I change this figure to monitor I think that cuts off my microphone but I got no feedback. Now I think I'm back to the back to the microphone. It would it would be nice to be able to do this uh, with some keys or something like that. Let me try the video again. After the message's arrival, scientists here at the VLA still have no answers, only more questions. I'm going to put the video on pause. Well. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos, many of them on Ubuntu and Linux, but also on other subjects. I hope this was helpful to you. I appreciate hearing feedback. Uh, I would like to get this working better. Uh, I think it's overly complex, and although Linux Ubuntu is very, very, very versatile, perhaps more so than Mac or Windows, it's nevertheless altogether too complex to be taken seriously for that matter because nobody in his right mind would go to the trouble of trying to figure this out. And I thank you very much.